and we are back here what's up youtube it's trouble productions coming back at you guys again today with another video and as you can tell in today's video we're going to be doing something a bit different um of course i've talked a bit lego investing on my channel before i'm making a number of videos um because that's something i like to do is investing in lego you can see here i just have a bunch of sealed sets that i've uh, poured my money into as investments and uh that's something i'd love to do but i've never really talked about my investing plans uh for say a whole year of lego investing and um in 2020 i started getting into youtube more and making the uh, videos on lego investing of course and this year i figured i would share my investing goals and plans for 2021 and i'll look back at it at the end of the year of 2021 and see if i made any money so i'll talk about um how I actually get the sets to invest in, uh, what kind of discounts I buy them at, and um, how I record my uh, investing purchases and how I'm gonna look back at the end of the year to see if I made any money on it. First off, I just wanna say I've already made some investments for this year. Um, this is one set I love, and I think it's gonna be a great investment to in the future. It's the 501st Battle Pack. Um, it's sets like this you wanna buy. But I've also uh, made some more investments in other sets, so that is, uh, I'd like to typically buy sets at 50% off if it's just on random clearance. Um, but sets like this, I would rather pay, you know, I'd pay 20% off for a set like this because it is a good investment in my life. So on the screen here, I'm going to show a list of my spreadsheet for my investments. Um, all the Lego investments I've made so far for this year. As you can tell, most of them are 50% off. I've got on clearance or on Facebook Marketplace. Um, a great spot to pick up Lego, by the way. Um, but nonetheless, this is how I typically like to invest. You know, get my sets on clearance. Uh, deep clearance when Walmart or some other store throws them on or on Facebook marketplace like this now that's not the case for all the sets and usually uh, the way I like to invest is um, I try to collect one of every Lego Star Wars set sealed um, some more than others of course so I can get them at 50% off and there's a couple of them available maybe I'll get it if it's a good set or like this I'm gonna probably buy a couple of these at 20% off because it's a good set and uh, there's other sets too, like the uh, slave one here behind me. This is like a 20% off set. You're not gonna get it at 50% off, but it's a good set to invest in. So you wanna get it at like 20% off here. Now you really have to be the judge of that. And I usually the bigger sets like the use or slave one or UCS set or something like that is stuff you wanna get at 20% off or when like are doing uh, double VIP points with a good gift for purchase or something like that. That's how I like to uh, get those bigger sets. But nonetheless, uh, how I'm going to actually invest in 2021 is I'm gonna, look to spend maybe a couple hundred dollars, um, maybe over a thousand if it gets to that. And um, at the end of the year, I'll look back on it, see how much money I made, maybe sell some of those sets uh, as, you know, to get some of my money back. And we'll see how that goes. Now I'll be doing this by, like I said before, just buying clearance on 50% off, um, buying sets like, I have the Nebulon B Frigate Comic Con exclusive here. Um, that is a good investment when that comes up. I uh, get it at retail is, per, is what I'd like to do and then, um, you know, sell it at a uh, higher price in the future. Also, when May the 4th rolls around, I will buy the May the 4th um, set or UCS set of time, maybe get the promo with it, or maybe just buy some cheaper sets that I need that don't go on clearance that much, like the uh, Brickheads of the Mandalorian and the Child. But that is the extent of my plans for investing in 2021. Um, I'm gonna look to collect every LEGO Star Wars set from the past year that I don't already have sealed. As you can tell, I already have a lot of them but uh, there's still some more that I need to get, mainly the bigger ones that I've been waiting to go on for clearance, but they don't look like they're going to be because of the uh, shortened supply lines and everything. So that is also something to keep in mind now. Not much like all like the um, more expensive stuff is gonna be going on clearance anymore. So you might wanna get it like 20% off or on Lego's website. But I'll keep you guys updated at the end of the year, see how much money I made, and hopefully it works out good for me. And I also wanna know if you guys like plan on investing in Lego, because I think it's something that is great. If you have a hobby, and you can invest in it and actually make money on it. It's something that is fantastic and very enjoyable. But with all that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this uh, shorter type of video, but it's something I wanted to do because I want to make an update on this at the end of the year, um, and I just had to make a video out on it at some point. So if you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. I know it's not the uh, you know, eye-peeling video or anything, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.